Hello, and welcome to Universal Tools. My name is Terry, Switchboard Builders and Control Panel Builders. Today we're introducing our stationary punching machine. Let's have a look at this beast. First of all, it's made in Germany, so it's European made, good quality. The throat depth on this one, this particular model, is 400mm, which means it's 400mm from the punching cylinder through to the back of the throat, which means that you can actually punch 800mm wide doors by spinning the door around 180 degrees. You can punch in from one side and then spin it around, punch in from the other. There's a laser pointer that points, shines down through the punching head. That is for accurate punching. All you need to do is mark your door with a texture where you want your holes. There's no pre-drilling required. It's simply put your door on or your glam plate and punch the holes. So that's when the laser pointer lines up with your mark on the door. Next, if you're punching a series of holes all in a row, it's got a depth fence which is this fence here. And that can be adjusted to work wherever you want, depending on your row of holes where you want to punch. Then we've got support arms. And this is for if you're punching long, long panels or wide doors that need support. This can be moved in around so that the door sits on these points and there's one on the other side as well and they can be adjusted up and down like so. Let's have a look at the punching range. So this machine can do round holes 3.6 millimeter right up to 40.5 millimeter and so you've got M20 holes, you've got 22 and a half holes, M32 holes, so a broad range of holes to whatever you require and then also square holes. So the biggest square hole that this machine can punch is a 25.4 by 25.4. Now, one of the other beauties is it's got a mobile support stand. So this mobile support stand has got four casters, which means that you can move it about your workshop depending where you have your punching station wanting to be set up. You can either have it in a fixed position and your workers come to it or if one of your workers is particularly um, doing all the punching then you can move it to his part of the factory and then on here underneath here is our tool tray holder this tool tray holder holds the punch and dies um, so that within it within easy reach and it can swivel out of the way and then we've got our electrohydraulic pump. So the electrohydraulic pump is just a 240 volt pump. We recommend a foot switch so you've got two hands on the material when you're punching and it's just a quick coupling hose onto the top of the punching cylinder. Okay so we've looked at the features of our stationary punching machine. Now it's time to look at the changing over of punch and dies, the ease of it, and also we'll look at the laser pointer feature as well. So this is our punching holder here, it's where we put our punches and this section here is our die holder. So this die here is a 22.5mm die and that would slot in there like so. Changing over from round holes to square holes is easy, there's just an allen key at the back that holds the punch holder in position. So I'm going to undo that. And this is our square punch and die. And it's got a location pin, so it goes in the correct position. That location pin fits in to there. And then you just re-tighten it. Then once again, you would put in your um, square die in this section here. So let's have a look at the 
at the um, laser pointer. I'm going to swing that S port arm back round. I've just got a little piece of material which is a glam plate off an enclosure and as you can see the laser pointer shines down through the punch onto the material. So mark your material where you want your cable gland holes or your pilot light holes with a texter. When the laser pointer shines where your texter mark is, you're ready to power it up and punch the hole. The beauty of the laser pointer is that it gets away from having to pre-drill your material with a pilot hole. So what I'm going to do is do a quick demonstration on punching without pre-drilling. This is our die, 28.3mm, and that fits into the die holder like so. We then choose the corresponding punch, this 28.3mm, and that slots up through there like that. And you do it up with an Allen key. I'm going to be punching just some sheet metal here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on here where I want the hole to be so just with the texter put a mark there then we guide it onto here so the laser point is touching my text mark there and you can swing around this support arm here to support the material and there's also an arm on the other side of the machine. So now that I've got my material in, I can also adjust the vent steps. So this slides up, so meets material, like so. So it's supported, got your length fence, and we're ready to go to hit the foot switch. <laughs> So that's it, very effortless, clean hole, no touching up required. So that's it folks, that's the presentation done on our punching machines. Now there's three models of punching machines, there's one with 250mm throat depth, there's one with 400mm throat depth, which is what you see here, and then our biggest one is the 600mm throat depth. You can visit it on www.uttco.com.au or you can send us an email at sales at uttco.com.au and we can help you with any of your requirements for stationary punching machines. Thank you.